This is Two Wheels Big Life, and I'm Chris, and I'm... She's always got to do that twice. <laughs> A couple times. <laughs> Hi there, this is Two Wheels Big Life, and I'm Chris, and I'm here to tell you about how to budget for your next fabulous motorcycle trip. I'm also going to tell you how we budgeted for our trip we just got back from. We went to Montana, we were gone for about 30 days, and we went for 5,500 miles. So let's get yep. into it. In the comment section below, I've created an Excel spreadsheet to help you with your next motorcycle trip. There are five biggest expenses for a motorcycle trip. Gas, food, lodging, maintenance, and entertainment. And the beauty of a trip is that gas is really your only fixed expense. Basically, you have a certain amount of miles that you've got to go, and gas is the only thing that's going to get you there. All right, let's talk about gas first. You need to know a couple things before you can calculate the cost. You need to know how many miles your trip is, round trip. You need to know the miles per gallon that your motorcycle is going to get, and you need to know the average cost of gas in the area that you're going to be traveling in. You can find that by looking online. AAA has a great website. They'll give you every day the average cost nationwide of a regular price of gas. They, you can also scroll down and then it gives you by state the cost of gas. They have columns. They broke it down even further into regular, mid-grade, premium, and diesel. So you can really drill down to it if you like going into the details. Uh, Gas Buddy also has a great website. They'll show you a color-coded map and they have a legend along the side and it will show you the average cost of the gas prices within that area that you're going to be traveling in. So what you're going to do is you're going to divide the miles in your trip by your bike's miles per gallon and that's going to give you how many gallons of gas that you're going to use on your trip and you're going to multiply that by the average gas price and that is going to give you your gas budget. So let's use our Montana trip as an example. We went 5,500 miles. My BMW gets 45 miles to the gallon. Richard's Harley gets 32 miles to the gallon because he's pulling the trailer and his bike is loaded down more. The average gas price in the area that we were traveling in was $3.50. So put your math hats on. I have an accounting background, but I'll try to make this quick. For my BMW, we're going to take the 5,500 miles divided by my 45 miles per gallon that I get, and I'm going to use 122 gallons. I'm going to take 122 gallons, multiply it by the $3.50 average gas price, and I'm going to use $427 of gas. Same with Richard. We're going to take 5,500 miles, divide it by his 32 miles per gallon, and he's going to use 172 gallons of gas, multiply that by... $3.50 and he's going to use about $602 in gas. So that puts our, add those two together and that puts our gas budget, I rounded up about $1,000. So set that $1,000 aside, got it for gas. Now let's get into the expenses that can vary depending on your personal preferences. The first one up is food. Depends on what kind of eater you are. Big pizzas, man. Everything on them with water, a whole lot of water and The average cost of eating out is about $13 a meal. The average cost of eating at home or cooking at your campsite is about $4 a meal. Do you want to do a combination of those? Do you want to eat out for one meal? Do you want to have a snack for one meal? So it depends on what you want to do. Again, if you love the details, you can beat this one to death. For budgeting purposes, basically what I said is we're going to have X amount a day for food per person, and that needs to include um, snacks and drinks. So. For our budget, I said we're going to use $26 a day for both Richard and I. And so that for 30 days, that came up to $780. I also said that we're going to use $50 a week for eating out. So it's another $200. So our whole food budget was $980, and I rounded that up to $1,000. The next one up is lodging. Yep, another expense that can vary based on your personal preferences. If you're a hotel person, the average cost of a hotel is about $132. What's the rate anyway? Uh, that'll be $235 a night, sir. The average cost of tent camping is between $10 and $25. That can go up if you like to stay at like a KOA or a high-end resort. They get, tend to be a little bit more pricey. There's also free or boondocking. And there's also, if you have a national park pass, you can stay at the like an army or Army Corps of Engineers campground for a reduced rate. And there's also friends and family. They might even feed you and you can't get any cheaper than that. So look at how many days you're on the road and multiply it by your personal preference and that will give you your lodging budget. To use our Montana trip as an example, I didn't 
want to try to do the whole 30 days, so I just broke it up into weekly increments. I said, for one week, here's how we'll do it. We will stay one night at a hotel for $132. We'll do four nights of camping at $25, I picked the higher end, and then two nights at free or imposing them on some wonderful friends and family. So our weekly budget came to $232. And I put time that by four, and guess what? We have another $1,000. This trip budgeting is getting kind of easy. The next thing I want to talk to you about is maintenance to include in your budget planning. Do you, are you going to need any oil changes? What about tires? Is there anything that you know on your bike that has a tendency to wear down that you might have to replace? You know your bike's own personal preferences, so please plan accordingly. For our trip, we knew we weren't going to do any oil changes. So I set a budget of $250, thinking that would, might cover a tire if it gets punctured or needs to be replaced. When we take our next trip, I will do this one differently. I will have a separate bike maintenance budget and I will have a miscellaneous budget because we've got six tires rolling down the road and $250 really isn't a lot. So I will increase that. What we actually spent the $250 on is we got some oil for Richard's bike. We bought some screws for a saddlebag that had come loose and we bought another bag for my BMW. The last thing I want to talk about is entertainment. What type of rider are you? Do you just like to put on the miles and look at the beautiful scenery as you go? And that's perfectly fine. We took a trip up the West Coast once and it was so beautiful. The only time we got off the bike and actually did any exploring was up at Bouchard's Garden in Victoria, Canada. So you need to know if you're going to do any sightseeing on your trip and plan accordingly. For this trip, it was a little different. There were three bucket list items that we knew we wanted to do. We wanted to ride the Alpine Loop and not on our motorcycles. We wanted to kayak the Snake River in Idaho. And we also wanted to ride bicycles on the route of the Hiawatha also in Idaho. All of these things were all day events and they were somewhat pricey. But the neat thing is, is because I had put them in the budget, when we got there and it came time to pay, there was no, oh my gosh, should we or should we? They're kind of pricey. It was just, no, we'd already planned for it. So we just paid and then we went off and we had to blast and we didn't have to think about it. So that's the beauty of budgeting for entertainment things that you know you're going to do. Okay, we are going to sum it all up. For gas, we budgeted $1,000. We actually spent $1,044. For food, we budgeted $1,000. We actually spent $999. For lodging, we budgeted $1,000. We actually spent $475, and here's why. Richard had some points for hotels that we used, and we had some wonderful friends and family that put up with us. For maintenance, we budgeted $250, and we spent $134. And for entertainment, we budgeted $475, and we actually spent $523 because there was this wonderful hot springs in New Mexico called Ojo Caliente that I absolutely could not resist. So overall trip budget, we budgeted $3,725 that comes out to on average about $124 a day. Our actual we spent was $3,185 or around $106 a day. And remember that is for two people. So we actually spent $53 a day per person. And I think that was pretty good. We had a wonderful time. Those are just a few of my tips and suggestions on how you can budget for your next amazing motorcycle trip. If you liked what you saw, please give it this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and if you have any comments, please put your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, ride safe.